Welcome to the virtual open day presentation of the Department of Early Irish. Uh, I will present you a short overview of our main uh, program, Medieval Celtic Studies. My name is David Stifter, I'm the Professor of Old Irish in Maynooth, and I welcome you on behalf of the Department and the University. The Department of Early Irish is a very small department, but at the same time it is extremely international with our lecturers and researchers and also students, not only coming from Ireland, but literally from all over the world, from England, the States, uh, Austria and even up to China. Uh, at the same time, our lecturers and researchers are world leading experts. Uh, with two very large internationally recognized research projects being carried out in the department at the moment. Our undergraduate program is called Medieval Celtic Studies and it is a subject that is especially geared towards those uh, among you who are interested and who want to explore the early medieval history of this country, that is of Ireland and who want to understand the sources and the development of the rich cultural medieval tradition of Ireland in that, in that period. The programme offers a mixture of literary skills uh, coupled with historical skills and also with uh, some linguistic uh, insights and it prepares our graduates for careers in areas that are related to the history of Ireland. Uh, Sometimes students take our subject not one, as one of their first or second uh, choices, but as the third or fourth choice to complement their main choices by something that is truly interdisciplinary, in that uh, we offer methodologies, that we, that we offer skills, training and skills that uh, cross various uh, disciplines. If you want to learn how to evaluate critically the significance and uh, the significance of a large body of material and how to arrive at your own personal independent opinion about a large amount of heterogeneous sources, then our subject uh, would be the best choice for you. What is Medieval Celtic Studies as a program about? The subject explores aspects of early medieval island and with under the term early medieval island we understand that the, the roughly 800 years between approximately the year 400 and the year 1200 and those two cornerstones those two historical points mark on the one hand the advent, advent of christianity to ireland and on the other hand the arrival of the normans to ireland and everything that falls in between those two uh, dates is part of early medieval Celtic or early medieval Irish studies. We study uh, the literature, specifically the literature of uh, that period. There's an enormous amount of manuscripts that were written during that period or texts that were written during that period and copied in later manuscripts. We study the language of that period, which is Irish, but not Irish as you would learn it in school, but the earliest, the older stage of I Irish called Old Irish. And we also introduce you to the archaeology and to the history uh, of this period. And all of this combining to give you a, a big, round, well-rounded picture of the society of that, of the time. What were the people like? What were they thinking when they left us those cultural treasure, treasures that we're working on? In addition to early medieval Ireland, uh, our program also looks at the origins, the languages and cultures and societies of other Celtic people in mainland Europe in, ancient, in the ancient period and in other medieval Celtic countries such as Wales. There are no specific entry requirements for medieval Celtic studies. The entire course is taught through English and also all of the core texts are presented 
in English translations. So there is really no previous knowledge of the Irish language required. Uh, obviously, it is it may be helpful if you do have Irish, but if you don't feel comfortable with it, with with the Irish language, there's nothing to to be feared in medieval Celtic studies. Our students uh, often combine medieval Celtic studies with other subjects such as history or modern Irish or English, anthropology, Latin philosophy and uh, others of that sort. But in the end you can combine it with whatever you find suitable for yourself and what you find where you find that your interests lie. Uh, for instance, uh, it would be very, very welcome to combine medieval Celtic studies with computer science. There's an enormous amount of digitization going on in medieval Celtic studies and people with a background in both areas, computer science and medieval Celtic, uh, are really sought after. If you want to study abroad during your undergraduate time, uh, you can add a fourth year to your normal three-year course, which is called a European BA, and uh, you can go to other universities on the continent of Europe and learn other languages at the same time. Uh, medieval Celtic studies and medieval Irish studies is a, a truly international subject and there are many great centers for Celtic studies uh, abroad. For instance, uh, the University of Marburg in Germany. In the first year of medieval Celtic studies we introduce you to Celtic civilization with uh, two modules in semester one, the module called Power and Status in the Celtic World, and in semester two with a, with a module on Gender and Sexuality in the Celtic World, where specifically notions of the relationships between male and female, uh, the roles of women are uh, studied. If, you, if your interest lies rather in the language of the period, i.e. in the Old Irish language, there you have the op option uh, to take alternatively the intensive Old Irish uh, 1 and 2 course uh, instead of the general Celtic civilization introduction. In second and third years of medieval Celtic studies, you have a certain range of modules to choose from. You can concentrate more on historical or, or the archaeological side of medieval Ireland, or main you can put, put the main focus on medieval Irish and Welsh literature with a wide range of different modules that we offer, or you can uh, intensify or deepen your knowledge of the old Irish language at ordinary beginners levels or of unintensive levels. Students of early Irish uh, have found jobs in teaching and education, but uh, some of our students also go into the heritage and tourism industries uh, to work with, for instance, the Office of Public Works or other archaeological sites around the country. Other options uh, that are open to graduates from early Irish are works in, working in libraries, or if you have uh, a knack for uh, computer studies, you can do digitization, you can work in digitization projects, or continue on in academic research. During the three years of our undergraduate BA program, you may find that you'll really love our program, and the good news is that we offer a range of postgraduate options after, your, uh, after the BA, uh, which you can follow on then. Uh, the normal course uh, would be to start with a taught master's, of, which is a one-year program, and if you really love the subject, you can then move on to a research PhD, which typically takes four years. I thank you very much for having followed me and to the, to the very end of my presentation. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please contact us at, under any of the contacts that you find here on this last slide, or you can uh, write to me uh, directly via the email that is provided by the university website for this uh, open day. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the day.